Hello everyone, I'm CryptoNobs. In today's video, we're going to be taking a look at the latest big news to do with Cardano. We're also going to be taking a look at a stake pool update and a price analysis. So if you guys like anything I bring to you, don't forget to smash that like button, hit the subscribe button, or share the video for more. Let's even get this video over 400 likes, and also want to know down below, what are your goals on your crypto journey this year? With that, let's jump straight into the video. Before we jump into the latest updates, let's take a look at how the market has been performing over the past 24 hours. The date and time is the 27th of March at 2.20am and the market is currently still looking very strong compared to a few days ago, but again, anything can happen at any point. If we do start to get fearful when it comes to this crypto market, I highly suggest just zooming out and taking a look at the bigger picture. Short term, yes it can be scary, but long term, this is an easy ride. Bitcoin is currently at 54,930, Ethereum is at 1,698, Cardano is at $1.21, Binance Coin is at $251, Polkadot is at $33, XRP is at $0.56, cents. Uniswap is at $29, Theta Token is at $12.55, and Chainlink is at $27. But in today's video, we are going to be taking a look at the latest big updates to do with Cardano, so let's jump straight into the first article. And this article says Alonzo hard fork to bring smart contract compatibility to Cardano in April. In a recent virtual conference of the Cardano 360 event, IOHK chief and Cardano CEO Charles Hoskinson said that Cardano's roadmap is on course. Alonzo hard fork coming next month. According to Hoskinson, the Alonzo hard fork combinator will be launching in April. According to the academic, this feature will let users deploy smart contracts on the Cardano network. For the first time ever publicly, people will be able to write smart contracts and deploy them on Cardano. The project has been heavily criticised with some saying that Cardano will not displace Ethereum. Hoskinson has always said that this is not the end goal of Cardano and that the blockchain network was cut out for something greater. And with this update, Hoskinson has validated his supporters. He said that the Alonso update will be deployed in the form of a hard fork just like the Shelley era. The former Ethereum executive noted that the upgrade would be available on the testnet in June, with the full mainnet launch slated for August this year. He also said that the mainnet launch could see the launch of its Plutus programming platform for token swaps. And it says down here Cardano would host countries. Cardano progressively upgrading its blockchain offering has made it to be called the Ethereum killer. Ethereum has seen its gas fees shoot up. The second most valuable crypto project has also been plagued by slow transaction speed. Even with these challenges, Ethereum is a hub for everything decentralized applications, dApps, Decentralized offering like non-fungible tokens, NFTs, decentralized lending, token swaps have continued to thrive, but skyrocketing gas fees have seen users begin to explore alternative projects to build a fast-growing dApp niche. Cardano's multi-asset and smart contract platform would be a great relief as its transaction is reputed to be much lower, and according to the Cardano team, a fully formed Cardano blockchain would process thousands of transactions in a few seconds. Besides aiming to move into the DeFi space, Hoskinson has said that Cardano will fulfill a much larger mission when it goes live. In a recent blockchain conference for Africa, he said that Cardano is not just about facilitating the development of dApps. To him, the peer-reviewed blockchain would be able to host data of countries. He also said that Cardano is currently working with some African nations to create a digital identities linked to the Cardano blockchain. This deal would see millions of users come to the Cardano ecosystem and create a whole new $5 trillion of wealth. Even though the project is still under development, he said that many developers and DeFi projects have already subscribed, further propelling Cardano up the crypto chart. So overall, this is a big deal for Cardano as we have an official date of smart contracts. Alonso is going to be the final piece of the smart contract era and then we will have the smart contracts in place. Cardano is going to be 100% decentralized and it is going to open a gateway of opportunities. But I want to know down below, what are you looking forward to the most this year? This next article I want to show you before we take a look at a stake pool update and a price analysis. And this one says Cardano's team negotiating with top 10 NFT marketplaces. Will they move to Cardano? While well, the founder of IOHK has been busy with the upcoming Alonso hard fork and NFT tweet sales, he recently hinted another development for the Cardano network in a live stream on Periscope. He revealed that his team has already negotiated with the top NFT focused platforms. Interestingly, such platforms are typically built on Ethereum, and Hoskinson has always referred to the network as a Cardano. Cardano rival, but he is confident that the future of these projects will move to Cardano. It's easy to clone these protocols, it's easy to partner with these. Just in NFTs, we approached several of the top 10 marketplaces and already begun discussions on porting them over to Cardano, because why not? It's an easy conversation and it's just engineering resources. Earlier, Hoskinson cautioned users about how quickly things can change, and in crypto land, it moves fast. While he said that Ethereum could die out like MySpace and Netscape, he even predicted that Ethereum may migrate to Cardano someday. He also talked about Project Catalyst, a governance program for Cardano, and an experiment that is part of the final iteration of Voltaire. IOH 
HQ announced earlier that in less than seven months, Project Catalyst has grown to become the world's largest DAO. Hoskinson revealed that to date, six NFT marketplaces have applied for funding and in some cases have gone above and beyond the Catalyst providers. He added, what we can do is to show up and give them support and advice, and in some cases perhaps funding and above and beyond with Catalyst providers to incubate and bootstrap them. But really, it's more of a conversation for the crooks of the business model. So where will NFTs be in 5 or 10 or 15 years? And what business model has the highest chance to succeed? On the personal front, Hoskinson took a cue from Twitter CEO Jack Dorsey NFT tweet sale and decided to sell his own legendary tweets. He revealed that he had already sold a tweet as an NFT before and donated the money to charity. Interestingly, his rival Vitalik recently noted the lack of social value in these token sales and instead suggested how the money could be redirected to charities. So overall, with the NFT hype becoming a very, very big deal at the moment, I want to know down below, do you think this is a good move by Cardano? We're now going to bring you a quick little staple update and then a price analysis. So recently we have hit over 1 million ADA stake with the NOB stake pool and we've also hit over 58 delegations. Let's see if we can hit a big target of 1.5 million ADA and 70 delegations before the end of the month. I can proudly say that we have one of the best teams around and we use the top technology and the top programs, so you will never be disappointed. And if I bring you over to this bit of code, as you can see it says here Epic 256 and as you can see down here it says Max Performance 224. That means that our delegators are going to be seeing a 224% increase. That is a 2.2 times increase than normal rewards. So if you are not currently staking with the Crypto Node stake pool, now could be a great time to consider staking considering we are seeing some incredible rewards consistently. If you do have any questions at all regarding staking, please let me know down below and I'll get back to you as soon as possible. Whether you have 100 ADA, 1000 ADA, 10,000 ADA, 100,000 ADA or a million ADA, any contribution to making this pool successful really does mean a lot. Thank you to every single person that has joined so far and thank you to every single person that joins in the future. I'm now going to show you two important pictures to do with Cardano. Pause the video and take a look. One of them is to do with the Cardano ecosystem and the other is to do with the Cardano roadmap. To finish off today's video, we are going to be taking a look at a quick little price analysis and if I show you this chart here, as you can see within the past month, Cardano ended up peaking at the levels of $1.46, then we had a slight correction and again we ended up making another rally to the levels of $1.46. So again, this is a very bullish direction and it is in a very short period of time. If you are fearful during this market phase when we see it in a bearish trend, then I highly suggest just zooming out. As you can see, this is the amount of growth that cryptocurrency and Cardano has done in a very short period of time. As you can see here on December 23rd, we're at the levels of 14 cents to now going up to the levels of $1.18. So again, the amount of growth in such a short period of time is absolutely unbelievable and you will not see this in any other market. We need these sort of corrections to happen for the market to be healthy, else in my opinion it becomes a very very unhealthy and manipulated market. If we have these sort of corrections then again it shows stability, it shows strength and again it shows that we are here to stay. One thing we have to consider is that short term Bitcoin has been in a bearish trend and when Bitcoin goes into a bearish trend 80% of the time the market follows. So again just because we are in a slight bearish trend does not mean that this bull run is over. We are only 4 months into the golden year of the crypto market and again we still have plenty more time to go. We still have incredible updates, incredible price action, billionaires, billion dollar companies so again it's all a patience game. If you are new to the crypto space, be prepared for a roller coaster of emotions. But if you can control these emotions and focus on buying the dips when the market is in a panicky situation, then again, I personally think that is when you'll be successful in this crypto space. Be greedy when others are fearful, stay patient, and you will become a winner in this space. Just quickly, only 20% of you that watch my videos are actually subscribed, so if you are new around here or regular, hit the subscribe button as it is free and you can always unsubscribe later if you do not enjoy my content. 
Now, ladies and gentlemen, that is absolutely everything I've got for you in today's video. If you have enjoyed anything I've brought to you, don't forget to smash that like button, hit the subscribe button, or share the video for more, as it does really help my channel grow. Let's even get this video over 400 likes, and I also want to know your thoughts and opinions down below. If you are looking to join the Crypto Nobs stake pool, please let me know down below, and I'll help you to the best of my ability. With that, I've been Crypto Nobs. Thank you for watching. Hopefully, I'll see you in my next video. Peace.